society. But you have good reason to wish to hear from me today. What circumstances have perhaps qualified me to discuss with you on the basis of experience is how to make atomic weapons. It is true, as we have so often and so earnestly said, that in the scientific studies which we had to carry out in the summer, in the practical arts there developed, there was little of fundamental discovery. There was no great new insight into the nature of the physical world. We had many surprises. It is not a familiar question to us in these late days. It is not a familiar situation. Yet it seems to bear analogy to that raised by other weapons, to the need for a certain secrecy, let us say, in the discussion of how it's reserved to the torpedoes. That analogy will mislead us. There are some accidents in this situation, some things that may in the large light of history seem so doing, by our participation in making it possible to make these things, we have raised again the question of whether science is good for man, of whether it is good to learn about the world, to try to understand it, to try to control it, to help give to the world of men increased insight, increased power. Because we are scientists, we must say an unalterable yes to these questions.
promise I will keep the promise. We may look to the past for reassurance, but our faith now that the knowledge of the Bible may help. An atomic bomb is not a new conception of the discovery of reality. It is a very odd thing in some ways, compact with much of the science that makes our laboratories very expensive. But it will change men's lives as old as the time. That is not a small thing. Not small in itself, as the world knows today, perhaps more bitterly than ever. So intense, it turns the desert sands to black. Our faith now that our knowledge of the distract us entirely from the immediacy and the peril of atomic weapons. It would not be honest to do so, for not even a better understanding of the physical world, not even the most welcome developments of therapy, should make us content to see these weapons turn to the devastation.
the strategy of their use may well be different than it was against an essentially defeated enemy. But it is a weapon for aggressors, and the elements of surprise and of terror are as intrinsic to it as are the fissionable nuclei. 